This is Let's Talk Real Estate with Karina Cisneros on 101.5 WEEI Sports Radio Lakes Region. Once again, here's Karina. And we are back this time with three amazing guests. Uh, in the studio today, we have attorney Candace O'Neill with Hutkins Law with six locations throughout New Hampshire. We have Robin Shargo, managing director of Hutkins Title and Settlement covering the entire Granite State. And of course, the one and only attorney Jackie Hutkins, founder of Hutkins Law and Title, celebrating 13 years this month in business. Welcome, ladies. Thank you, Karina. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Karina. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, Jackie, uh, tell us briefly. Tell us about Hudkins Law and the services that you perform. Hudkins Law and Title is a full-service title and settlement company with six locations throughout New Hampshire. We take you from contract right through to closing. We examine your title. We conduct your closing. And we handle straight title and settlement services, but we're also here as a legal powerhouse behind the scenes to handle and execute any legal issues as they arise. Anything from an analysis of an easement right to handling your, your will and your trust. Okay, let's get down to one of the hottest topics right now. Candace, tell us about what's happening generally with the Airbnb situation and rentals around the state. We are seeing more and more clients call uh, to either transfer title of an existing property into an LLC. And why would they want to do that? Liability protection is the number one reason to do that. So if you have a renter that's at your property, falls and is injured, or a guest of theirs is injured, or damaged to the property, you're exposing all of your personal assets, not just the value of that property, to your creditors. So using an LLC insulates the property and protects the rest of so your assets. Some of them actually cannot buy the property unless they can actually rent it uh, on Airbnb, for example. But I see that they're buying it in their own names. So Jackie, what do people do then? At the time that an offer is made, a buyer should add a clause to the purchase and sale agreement by working closely with their realtor to indicate that they might form an LLC. Just by adding simple language after their personal name that says successor or an assign might be the ultimate buyer. So let me ask you, so let's say a buyer, can I put in the buyer a line, Karina Cisneros and or assigns? Yes, you can. That would be a perfect solution. And that'll give us time to then formulate the LLC after you're under agreement. Now, what happens if I close on the property in my own name and then three months later I decide, you know what, let's rent this. Now what do we do to protect ourselves from liability? Now that we don't have to worry about transfer tax in most cases. What do you What do you mean? You had to worry about it before? Previously, transfer tax could be thousands of dollars to move a property Correct. from your name to your LLC. Since that's no longer the case, it's a matter of preparing a deed. Did the rules change? The rules did change. Okay, so now, now does it cost? Now it would be the cost of recording a new deed, but we don't have to worry about transfer tax as long as certain criteria are met, which we would be here to assist with. All right, so how much does it cost to do this? Typically, we would charge a flat fee for these services of $1,500 plus the filing fee, but that includes things like the deed that we'd be preparing for you and an operating agreement, which is a critical aspect of the LLC formation process. Jackie. Well, one um, easy thing to um, highlight is the liability avoidance. If there's ever an injury or a loss or an accident at the property, you want to make sure that you're shielded from that liability so that your personal assets won't be attachable or reachable in a judgment. Give us a call so that we can help you check any covenants or restrictions against Airbnb. Make sure that you are not prohibited from doing a short-term rental of the property, particularly in a condo association. And that might not just entail reviewing the association uh, documents, but you should also check the recent meeting minutes. Thank you so much uh, to attorney Candace O'Neill uh, with Hutkins Law. Thank you, Robin, managing director of Hutkins Title and Settlement, covering the entire Grand State. And of course, Jackie, uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing your Beautiful brain with all our listeners. Thank you, Karina. Join me next Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. for another episode of Let's Talk Real Estate, where we share with you important information that will help you with either buying or selling your home. And if you or someone you know is looking to purchase a new home or sell, 
Call me at 603-273-6160 for a free market valuation of your home. You can also visit our website at nhlakeshomes.com and our Facebook page or listen to our podcast on iTunes or Google Play. And remember, mi casa es su casa and my name is Karina. Like the song, Karina, Karina. Until next time, play my song. Let's Talk Real Estate is presented by the Cisneros Realty Group, powered by EXP Realty, and sponsored by Hudkins Law, Title and Settlement Services, and Dana Gunnarsson, agent at the Joe Suazo Allstate Insurance Office in Gary, New Hampshire. Let's Talk Real Estate is a production of Modern Media, LLC, CRG TV, and MR Strategic Alliance, LLC, all rights reserved. Join us every Saturday morning at 8.30 and Let's Talk Real Estate with Karina Cisneros on WEEI 101.5 Sports Radio, Lakes Region.